Good afternoon, and our first item of business today is time for reflection, and our time for reflection leaders today are Majors Lynn and Railton Gibbs, Divisional Leaders, the Salvation Army, West Scotland Division. Uh, Presiding Officer and Members of Scottish Parliament, thank you for the opportunity to address you this afternoon, something we consider to be a real privilege, and we are grateful for this time. For 13 years now, Lynn and I have been in the best club in the world. Which one, you ask? Well, it's the grandparents' club, and we have recently welcomed into the world our third grandchild. How special and important are positive family relationships. Reading to our children and grandchildren has always been a joy, and one of their favourite stories from the Old Testament is the story of Noah. Initially, the excitement of the animals coming in two by two, and then beginning to understand how, in obedience, Noah built the ark, when to everybody around, it was an act of madness. Only when the rain came did everybody think Noah might not have been so crazy, but it came too late for them. For us, we were in danger of having similar thoughts to the crowd of people, when we learnt that the Salvation Army in West Scotland was building a boat in the middle of inner city Easter House, Glasgow. This on the face of it seemed a similar act of madness. Why on earth would they want to do this? Well, whilst the rains came and they weren't to the same extent as they were for Noah, we have seen quite a lot of rain in Glasgow in that time. And what we have witnessed though is the building of this boat in a garage, brought together a group of people struggling to know how to cope and come together. But it has given them hope and a reason for change. This resulted in them developing community and supporting each other. They have formed a walking club and a fishing group. They have formed positive relationships and one couple are now engaged to be married they have achieved things that they thought would never be possible. One gentleman has even started singing in a choir and he has had the real joy of even singing here in a homelessness choir at Parliament, which he was thrilled about. So in getting involved and listening to some of the people, it has come as no surprise to learn that this project has little, if anything, to do with a boat. It has more to do with honesty acceptance, love, care, and understanding. These are all the elements that make both community and those special important relationships that we all need. So whatever perspective we come from, whether it's political, scientific, or spiritual, we are all working together to help those that feel hopeless. Friendship to those who are lonely, and joy to those who are sad. We can make a difference as individuals, but a greater impact will happen if we work together. And as the Bible tells us, and now these three remain, faith, hope, and love, but the greatest of these is love. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.